hello friends here comes another very important practice question for dsp and uh, the question is uh, suppose x of n input sequence for a system is given as u of n minus of u of n minus 10 and your impulse response of this system is given as h of n equal to 0 0.9 whole to the power n u of n you have to calculate y of n which is basically output of the uh, uh, system uh, for this particular input which is basically nothing but convolution of x of n and h of n and the condition is given as you are not allowed to use con for filter function okay if it is question comes for con for using con for filter function then simply you can uh, easily write the code and you can get your marks right but in the uh, most of the cases uh, you are not allowed to use any inbuilt functions so in that case how you can do let us try to understand so in this particular question while solving uh, three things you know, need to know number one is how we can write matlab code for calculating convolution without using any built-in function like con for filter okay that is using matrix method how we can implement convolution in matlab that one you have to know another one that is how you can generate the sequence u of n how you can generate the sequence u of n minus 10 or basically rather we can say how we can generate this kind of complex sequence in matlab that you need to know along with that how you can generate this kind of exponential type signal 0 0.9 whole to the power n u of n that also you need to know all the basic prerequisite things i have already discussed in my previous video if you want to check this prerequisite concept please go through the link given in the description okay i have taken this particular problem because this type of questions will only come they will not give you a question in your final exam uh, based on one single concept they will uh, check multiple concepts so that you know all of them or not okay so let us try it, uh, directly go to matlab and try this see already we have uh, taken this quote uh, from our previous video that is clc clear or closer obviously you have to take if, if you want you can take warning off also x equal to input enter the first array n1 equal to input enter the time sample range h equal to input enter the second array n2 equal to in input enter the time sample and this is what we have done for generalized purpose of the convolution but in our particular this program neither n is mentioned nor n1 n2 okay so what we will do we will assume n1 and n2 value according to our choice so we are going to remove this so uh, okay rather let me do like this so here n1 you just copy this ctrl c and backspace and uh, just that is just remove and give it in the first line because if you don't take the time sample range you cannot take input x right because see here x is variable of n function of n so basically you have to take input first and no need to check the second one because second one also not mentioned so what we will do we will take the second one as first one only n2 equal to n1 only okay all right then uh, now this becomes our modification bit modification control a evaluate selection just same code rest of the part is same as i have discussed earlier so time sample range now see here time sample range is also not mentioned but our sequence is n to uh, that is 0 to 10 obviously we can take so basically let me take one bigger value suppose let me take minus of uh, let me take 5 to 50 okay let's hope that without that range we can get one uh, standard graph if we don't get we will extend it according to our need uh, you can do using trial and error method now first array is our input sequence which is basically u of n minus of u of n minus 10 which i already discussed in my previous video how you can write that see our time sample range is stored in which variable n1 variable so here you have to write n1 greater than equal to 0 this is the code for u of n right or u of n1 we can say minus of n1 greater than equal to 10 this is the code for u of n minus 10 so our this particular code n1 greater than equal to 0 minus of n1 greater than equal to 10 is nothing but this particular part u of n minus of u of n minus 10 all right then second array is what uh, 0 0.9 whole to the power n u of n okay fine so what we can do uh, 0 0.9 whole to the power n right so let me give inside one bracket 0 0.9 uh, dot to the power n1 why dot to the power because element by element powering okay n1 and then u of n is there so here n1 greater than equal to 0 that's all now you just click enter and see some error we are getting second array probably okay so here n1 greater than equal to 0 is one array and 0 0.9 dot to the power n1 is also one array so you have to give dot start right so basically here 
dot star will be there keep a good attention while solving this kind of questions here okay now you just write enter and see we are getting this kind of response and the values corresponding to uh, output is nothing but here you will get your response okay like this uh, some values you will get but after all uh, your output plot most of the time will be checked for verification okay so this is our output response y of n for our input x of n as or u of n minus of u of n minus 10 and h of n as 0 0.9 whole to the power n u of n okay all right i have you i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video just uh, you have to understand like this that no need to uh, go through uh, some concept which is like uh, what i mean to say like you cannot implement here in this case you cannot uh, implement some shortcut methods like pawn function you cannot use filter function you cannot use so you must have to understand how you can do convolution using matrix method or some other method in which uh, you are not using any built-in function then you should also have to understand how you can write this kind of expressions that is u of n minus u of n minus 10 like that okay if you want uh, to know how you can implement uh, some complex expression in MATLAB using unit step or exponential like that, please check the link given in the description. Okay, this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.